Ladies and gentlemen, live from the majestic hotel Kuala Lumpur, this is Miss Universe Malaysia 2018 Gala Night. They call you Lady Love But there is room for doubt At times you have a very unladylike way of running out You're on this date with me The pickings have been lush yeah. Before this evening is over, you might give me the brush. You might forget your manners. You might refuse to stay. And so the best that I can do is Luck be a lady tonight Luck if you've ever been a lady to begin with Luck be a lady tonight Luck let a gentleman see How nice a dame you can be I know the way you treat other guys you've been with But luck be a lady with me A lady doesn't leave her escort. It is a fair. It is not nice. Lady doesn't wander all over the room and blow on some other guy's dice. So let's keep the party polite and never get out of my sight. Stick with me, baby. I'm the fella you came in with. Luck be a lady. snake eyes at me when I bet my life on this road. So let's keep the party polite and never get out of my sight. Stick with me, baby. I'm the fella you came in with. Luck be a lady. 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 A lady to let. Yeah! Good evening. Thank you. And welcome to Miss Universe, Miss Malaysia 2018. I just want to give a shout out to our venue host, Majestic Hotel Kuala Lumpur. As we are back this year again, this is a beautiful hotel, look at this ballroom. My name is Stephen Raman Hughes, and uh, I would like to welcome my lovely co-host for tonight, Miss Universe Malaysia 2012, ladies and gentlemen, give it up, Kimberly Leggett. Oh, I know, no. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kimberly Leggett, and I will be your co-host for tonight. It feels so good, Stephen, to be on this stage again. It has been seven years. Seven years. Does it bring back a, a lot of memories? Oh, too many, too many. I am so excited for tonight to begin, and I'm equally as excited to be co-hosting with you, Oh, thank Stephen. you very much. You came all the way from Australia, I believe. And you yourself from London. Yeah, we've come from opposite ends of the globe, and we meet in the middle. And now we're here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, can we please have another a round of applause for that amazing performance by Stephen Raman Hughes. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Universe Malaysia 2018 this year is brought to you by Zalora, Asia's leading online fashion destination, main partner Auto Bavaria, official partner Sarah's Jewels, Glojas Health Clinic by Smart International Aesthetic, L'Oreal Professional and Miko Galaire. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, Bubblegum Wax, La Juiceria, Pavilion Kuala Lumpur, SMC Dental Works, Inno White, Runaway Productions by Catwalk Guru, Benjamin Tung, Red Bus, Phytology, Help University, UHY, and of course, the Majestic Hotel, Kuala Lumpur. Not forgetting our official newspaper, The Star, our official TV channel, Diva, on channel 702 or channel 723 in high definition, as well as our official online TV channel, Her TV. So please give a big round of applause for all our sponsors, without whom this evening would not be possible. Before we start to, can I just say, Stephen, how amazing does our audience look tonight? Yes, I think tonight is all about beauty. And guys, you are well turned out. Amazing. You all look amazing. And we haven't even brought out the girls yet. Can you imagine Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Wait till you see them. Gorgeous. All right. First and foremost, a very good evening, distinguished guests, esteemed members of the press and the media, ladies and gentlemen, and viewers at home. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at this prestigious event. And it was just last year that we crowned Miss Samantha Katie James as Miss Universe Malaysia 2017, who is with us in the crowd tonight. Where is she? Samantha. Oh, there she is. Hi, Samantha. <laughs> Since her crowning in February 2017, Samantha has had the opportunity to work with various brands, including Air Asia X, San Miguel, Sakura Collection, La Juiceria, Ashby Nimble, and plenty more, whilst on her way to compete in the recent Miss Universe International Finals at Las Vegas. All right, before we start the event tonight, I would like to announce that we have an online contest in store for you today. Stand a chance to win a Zalora shopping voucher worth 1,000 ringgit. And not just that, we also have up for grabs a Ceres jewel ring worth 12,000 ringgit. Wow. All you have to do is snap a full-length picture of your outfit of the day and upload the photo onto your Instagram account with the hashtag MUN18 Gala Night OOTD. Please ensure that your accounts are set to public. Otherwise, they won't count. Entries are also only eligible if the picture is taken here tonight at the Majestic Hotel Kuala Lumpur. Now, get snapping and get posing because the most fashionable outfit of the day will be announced by the end of tonight. Are we, are we like allowed to enter this event? I hope so. I mean, what do you think? Do you think I could win? I think so. I think we're, we're gonna go as a matching pair, don't you reckon? Okay, this year, we've got 17 hopeful contestants. Miss Universe Malaysia 2018 auditions started way back in June 2017 nationwide and selected 50 candidates from hundreds of hopefuls. We later narrowed it down to 24 candidates. We later narrowed it down to 24 candidates before finally selecting the 18 finals, finalists. However, one of the girls could not make it due to personal commitments and therefore we only have 17 finalists vying for the title this evening backstage. And in about just two hours, one of them will be your new Miss Universe Malaysia. Are we ready? Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Are we ready? Absolutely. All That's right. the spirit. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please feast your eyes on the screen as we witness the journey of our 17 finalists on their way to gala night. The search for the next Miss Universe Malaysia begins again as we scour the country in search for the one. The one woman who will carry the hopes of a nation. The one who will live the dreams of many. The one who will show that there's beauty beyond us. This is their journey.
Half of this competition, girls, is a mental one. We are going to have eliminations. I really did not expect this. Wow, this is like an actual model house. We see clothes and shoes and it's all for us to wear. Morning, girls. Wake up. Finish this now. Ah, let's go. Come on. Keep going. Ah. Ah. Our first makeover. Really, really excited and looking forward to what they're going to do to my hair. It's time for your first challenge. Cause every time you walk out, the less that I cry. Next. So who's getting interviewed here? Me or you? You, right? Yeah. So, would you rather fight one big duck or a hundred small ducks? To do what? Fight, 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 fight. fight them. You had to have an eight-year-old and a twelve-year-old explain the question to you. You three girls were the worst performers in this challenge. We've decided to send the girls for a catwalk class. Use your heart to communicate with the judges. Chabi, you're walking like in a pasta malam. You have two hands, you know. If you are trained before, you better tell me who trained you. I'm going to kill that person. That was a bit long. So I definitely think it's a challenge. The time is definitely a challenge. Did you hear action? Right, this is your last chance. We don't need your Kasian stories here. Okay, she works better than the rehearsal. She's got great dimples. Yay! I expected more, actually. It was not fantastic. Welcome to a special open session. Optimistic is very important when you're being attacked by your outlook. Maintain your natural beauty and just enhance what needs to be enhanced. Please leave your sashes behind as you leave. I'm not ready to go home today. Come on, Liliana, you're a model. We expect lots from you. Stop with the hand. No, stop. Mm. Too much of confidence. This is what happened. I only can see your butt. You do not compliment my car. This photo shows a lot of confidence. I'm sorry, I don't like it, the photo at all. So we were given a couple of minutes to go through the Zalora app, choose a dress, a cocktail dress, a clutch, and a pair of heels. Our Zalora boxes are here. And yourself, I assume East Malaysia. No, I'm no. from Sabah. From, from Sabah. Sabah. Biggest competitor. You said something that like, we know the answer to this question as if like whoever asked you the question was asking you like a stupid question or a question that wasn't on point at all. Kamu faham tak? Pageant week is crunch time. You'd be surprised that 12 have been eliminated. They might come back and might even win the pageant. Really.
My name is Natasha, 23 from land below doing Kota Kinabalu Sabah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kai Tree, 25 from the beautiful city of Kuala Lumpur. Born and bred in the heart of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Hello everyone, my name is Kirsten. I'm 22 years old from Kuala Lumpur. My name is Jezebel Robert. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Kuala Lumpur. Hello everyone, Vanakam. I'm Sharas Nisaratnam, 21 years old from Selangor. Gentlemen, my name is Melissa Wong, 22 from Selangor. Good evening, everyone. I'm Maria Escobia, 24 from Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. Thank you, ladies. Absolutely stunning. And there you have it, our 17 finalists in the running for the next Miss Universe Malaysia 2018 title. Our finalists look stunning as ever in cocktail dresses by Zalora, 
Hair by L'Oreal Professional and Miko Galer, as well as makeup by Lancome. Aren't they beautiful? Wasn't that amazing? Absolutely. So Kim, um, just give us a little bit of an insight. So, I mean, you reigned for one year. It must have been, I imagine it must have been a crazy year. Uh, what does it sort of involve? What do, you, what do you take from the experience? Look, in a nutshell, I can only describe it as being one of the most physically as well as mental, mentally challenging moments of my life, but one of the most rewarding. The one thing I would say is that the thing that I took away the most is honestly be a kind person. As cliche, as simple as that sounds, be a kind person and the benefits will come to you. Humility and generosity of spirit, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, moving on. We have some of our most important people in the room tonight. And I know you people in the expensive seats at the front think it's you, but it's not. It is the judges. So uh, those who will determine the winner of tonight's Miss Universe Malaysia 2018. Without any further delay, let's get to know our distinguished panel of judges for tonight. First, we have judge number one, Deborah Henry, former Miss Universe Malaysia and my predecessor, who went on to co-found Fuji School, a non-profit charity organization that provides a basic education to refugee children, as well as Fujila, a social enterprise. Yes, absolutely. That deserves a cheer. Uh, secondly, Datot Sri Navneet Goenka, founder and vice president of Ceres Jewels, returns to the panel of judges this year. The Jewelry House is the creator and designer of the Miss Universe Malaysia 2018 crown. Judge number three, we have Miss Lau Suk Ping, general manager of L'Oreal Malaysia Lux Division, responsible for brands such as Lancome, Shuemura, Urban Decay, and Giorgio Armani fragrances, just to name a few. Please welcome her. Judge number four. Levy Lee is Miss Universe Malaysia 2008, the founder of The Good Company, a vegetarian cafe in Trendy Bangsa just up the road. Please welcome her. Next up, we have judge number five, celebrity hairstylist Miko Au, founder of Miko Geller and is also a fashion icon. He is actively involved in a variety of design and production projects, including fashion shows and workshops. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Judge number six, Datin Selwinda Kaur, a multifaceted philanthropist, yes, and a savvy businesswoman, Datin Selwinda is the Chief Operating Officer at Glojas Health Clinic at Smart International Aesthetic, which focuses on hair restoration and aesthetics the natural way. Give it up for Datin Selwinda Kaur, everyone. Next up, we have judge number seven, Kiryat Argenio, Marketing Director of Zalora Malaysia, Asia's online fashion destination. She is also the driving force behind Zalora Malaysia's largest campaigns, including the annual Zyolora activation, as well as other on-site cross-marketing campaigns. And judge number eight. This guy needs no introduction, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Datuk Hans Isaac. He was the resident judge for the Miss Universe Malaysia 2017 auditions, which took place nationwide. He does everything. He's an actor, a presenter, a writer, a TV and film director, and an executive producer. He's also my dive buddy. All right, last but not least, rounding off our judging panel is judge number nine, Nuraliza Osman former Miss Universe Singapore 2002 and the current National Director of the Miss Universe Singapore organization. Yes, absolutely, give it up. A round of applause for our esteemed judges. We have the powerhouses asked to pick our Miss Universe Malaysia 2018 tonight and this definitely, it's not an easy decision to make, is it? I'm glad that we're not over there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this evening will consist of five main segments. The introduction, which you have just seen, the very exciting and my personal favorite, swimwear segment, and then we have the highly anticipated evening gown segment, which we will then announce the top 10 following a short question and answer segment, which we will then again shortlist to our top four. This will then be followed by another Q&A 
segment for, for our top four. And finally, with the help of our auditors, UHY, to ensure that there are no disputes, the scores by the judges will be tabulated to decide who will be crowned Miss Universe Malaysia 2018. Each finalist will be scored accordingly to personality, to stage presence, physique, catwalk, poise, and confidence, as well as how they will do during the Q&A segments. There is just so much to watch out for. I'm glad that we have them to do the hard task. I'm just amazed that they're able to walk in those heels all night. That is true, I can vouch for that. Now, just a short reminder, ladies and gentlemen, please do not forget to upload your best outfit of the day picture and hashtag MUM18 Gala Night OOTD for a chance to win that thousand ringgit Zalora voucher as well as that 12,000 ringgit worth of jewelry from Ceres. I want that prize. So sit back for an amazing night and we will be back right after this break. Let us welcome our first local beauty who's been singing she since she was four. Please give it up for the beautiful Dasha Logan. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond Fine light in a beautiful sea I choose to be happy You and I, you and I We're like diamonds in the sky You're a shooting star I see Vision of ecstasy When you hold me, I'm alive You're like diamonds in the sky
Thank you very much. That was Rihanna's tune called Diamonds to all the beautiful ladies here tonight. Up next, I have a song by Beyonce. And I hope you like this one. Listen to a song here in my heart. Melody, I start for K complete. Listen. a very special guest up on stage to sing with me. She was the second runner-up of a singing competition and she is an amazing singer. She won the Baka Her Malaysia. So put your hands together for Yasmin. Sleeping now, making myself crazy. Out of my mind, out of my mind. Wrote it down and read it out, hoping it would save me. Too many times, too many times. My love, it makes you feel like nobody else, nobody else. But my love, it doesn't love me, so I tell myself. Myself. One, 
Dasha for that lovely performance and please give it up for Yasmin. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Dasha Logan. That was spectacular. And Yasmin, such a beautiful voice and only 16 years old with a Malaysian Filipino heritage, which makes sense because Malaysia and both the Philippines create some amazing singers. So Yasmin Aziz was the second runner up of a reality talent show, Bakat Osem Malaysia, which completed its finale just last month. The show received over hundreds of online applications from young, talented Malaysians, and you will see, soon be seeing a few of them around. Next, we would like to invite our very own National Director of the Miss Universe Malaysia organization, who is also our Miss Universe Malaysia 2003, to please come up on stage, Datin Elaine Daly. I got that sunshine in my pocket, I got that good soul in my feet. A very good evening, distinguished guests, our partners and sponsors, the finalists of Miss Universe Malaysia 2018, esteemed members of the press and media, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to the Miss Universe Malaysia 2018 Gala Night. Can we have a big round of applause, please? Especially for my Mumo team who has put this together. As National Director and on behalf of Miss Universe Malaysia Organization, or fondly known as MUMO, I'd like to say a very big thank you to each and every one of you for taking time out and for being with us here this wonderful evening in this beautiful hotel ballroom of majestic Kuala Lumpur. Our theme this year for MUMO 2018 is Beauty Beyond You. And this was chosen because we wanted to continue to break down the stereotype of what a beauty pageant is 
and to show the world that this is an opportunity to provide a pathway for women of Malaysia to change their destinies and to become inspired, empowered, and responsible leaders in society. And this can only be achieved with mentorship, training, and willingness to transform and to underpin this, we included a full educational scholarship for our winner. This year, ladies and gentlemen, we traveled to Kota Kinabalu in search of East Malaysian beauties. We came back here again to Kuala Lumpur to find our candidates. From our batch of finalists this year, we have women from all backgrounds, including medicine, dentistry, accounting, finance, psychology, mass communication. They are young women from all walks of life with one common goal, and that is to win the coveted crown of Miss Universe Malaysia 2018. We'd like to have a very big shout out to the esteemed judges here tonight. Thank you very much for your time and effort, for being with us here this evening. All of you have a very difficult task at hand, so good luck. A big thank you to all our sponsors, without whom we won't be here this evening, especially to our title presenter, Zalora, and main partner, Otto Bavaria. Thank you very much. A few nights ago, ladies and gentlemen, I watched Oprah Winfrey's incredible and almost presidential speech at the Golden Globes. Oprah was looking to find a way out of her difficult and very poor family life and found herself watching the 1954 awards where Sidney Poitier's win ignited a fire in her to become something bigger and better. It is my dream that somehow Mumu can inspire young girls around Malaysia to be able to embrace their inner and outer beauty and use this stage as a stepping stone to a better life and to greater things. It is very important to remember that each one of those young ladies is a role model to many thousands of women around Malaysia. And we hope that tonight's competition will discover someone who not only has the looks to compete on the international stage, but who will be a positive role model, a reliable and inspiring woman who represents herself and her country in a way that will make us all very proud. Once again, thank you very much for your presence here this evening. All you need to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Elaine, for the lovely speech. Now, this year, Miss Universe Malaysia organization, armed with a commitment to provide life-changing experiences to all aspiring young talents, have partnered with Help University to offer one of the top 50 contestants a chance to win a full scholarship to study at the university. Contestants were required to send an essay on a given theme, which is, if you could change one thing about the world, what would it be and why? The winner of the most inspiring award goes to Dahinur John, 25 years from Selangor. She deserves this award because she used this platform and inspired the Miss Universe Malaysia organization by voicing out an important social issue, child sexual abuse. Having gone through many challenges while she was growing up, it has only propelled her to work harder to pursue her dreams she very well deserves. And with that, we would like to invite the Vice Chancellor and President of HELP University, Professor Datuk Dr. Paul Chan, up onto the stage to present the scholarship to the lucky winner. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Dahai Noor, and please make your way up on stage to receive this prestigious award. We have Dahino. Here she comes. Put your hands together for Dahino, ladies and gentlemen, please. So baby. 
Give it up for Dino, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Paul. Congratulations, Dr. No. Amazing. What a better time than now, more than ever, to have intelligent and compassionate as well as inspiring female role models. I actually believe that tonight we'll be adding one more to the list when we crown our winner. Absolutely. So, um, just a quick question. Um, I know it takes, I mean, to look be this beautiful all the time, it must, you must have some sort of regime. How does that work out? What, what kind of things do you have to do? I think as you can see tonight, it takes a village to look half as this good. These ladies have been supported by wardrobe by Zolora. They've got hair by Miko Gelaire, as well as makeup by Lancome. They've been training by Photology, so it takes a lot to look this good. I think I need one of those teams. Earlier on, we witnessed a young talent who's emerged second runner-up in the Bakat Osem Malaysia reality online TV show. This time here, to pump up the night, we have the show's first runner-up of Dance Crew showcasing a freestyle and urban street dance. Let's put our hands together and give it up for the young and oh-so-energetic Nasty Rock Crew, everyone! Yes.
SG Rock crew. What an astounding dance performance. Wow. Nice work, guys. That was amazing. God, I wish I could still dance like that. So, Stephen, you can act, you can sing, but can you dance like that? Yeah. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> we Actually. still have the rest of the show. We can't have any broken bones or anything. What, you think I'm going to hurt myself? I can't hurt myself doing this. Whoa, 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 Steven, 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 calm down. All right, you still got it. Save it for the officer party, my friend. All right, let's move on. Ladies and gentlemen, the swimwear segment, yay, is always one of the most highly anticipated segments at the Miss Universe pageants, and I agree. Over the months, our finalists have been pushed to their limits in training with our fitness partner, Fitology, in order to meet their fitness goals over the past 12 weeks, while maintaining their nutrition and diet, especially with our partner, Lajucera Superfoods. And with the help of our catwalk guru, Benjamin Tung, our finalists are now more than ready to strut with confidence and to showcase their swimmer ensemble by Zalora. They are ready to sizzle the catwalk with their swimwear. So please welcome our 17 finalists back on stage. First off, we have finalist number one, Jesse Gantel. Jesse stands at a height of 165 centimeters and is an avid fan of WWE wrestling shows. She first joined a beauty pageant at the age of 17 and enjoys dancing and singing. Her vital statistics are 28, 28, and 38. Contestant number two, Charlotte Tan. She stands at 168 centimeters. Vital statistics 32, 25, 36. A chemist by occupation, she aspires to someday be an actress and experiment on making natural skin care products. Contestant number three, we have Asha Kaur. Asha stands at a height of 169 centimeters and is a former athlete. She enjoys sports, reading, and dancing. She can also ride a Kawasaki Double R150 motorbike. Don't fool around with this girl. Her vital statistics are 29, 25, and 36. Here we have contestant number four, Alexis Sue Ann. She's 171 centimeters. Vital statistics 32, 25, 36. A TV host and YouTuber, she once climbed Mount Kinabalu to raise funds for National Cancer Society. And she can do a pretty good Britney Spears impression. Let's hear it. Next up, we have Shannon J. Totten. Shannon stands as a height of 171 centimeters and is a full-time model who also holds a diploma in fine arts. Her biggest accomplishment is selling her artwork to galleries and art collectors at her very own art exhibition. Her vital statistics are 32, 25, and 34. Contestant number six, Charmaine Chu. She's 172 and a half centimeters tall. Vital statistics, 30, 24, 33. Ever since she was a little girl, Charmaine dreamt of being a Miss Universe Malaysia. A straight A student, she's a gamer girl and is trained in Taekwondo. Yeah. Finalist number seven, we have Sabrina Tebby. She stands at a height of 177 centimeters and is a veterinary doctor by profession. Sabrina enjoys dancing the zumba and can prepare her our very own scrumptious candlelight dinner. Please invite me for dinner, Sabrina. Her vital statistics are 34, 27, and 37. Here we have Jaipreet Dillon. She's 173 centimeters. Vital statistics 35, 28, 37. Jaipreet recently completed her degree in business and commerce and aspires to be a food and travel host someday. Mm, 
Finalist number nine, we have Jane Chiu. At 178 centimeters tall, Jane is the tallest contestant tonight. A student and part-time model, Jane won a local modeling search last year where she represented Malaysia in the finals and also received a top 10 placing. She recently walked her first big runway show for none other than Chanel. 33, 27 and 27 are her vital statistics. Contestant number 10, Natasha Apria. She's 176 centimeters, vital statistics 34, 27, 39 of Kadazan Dusun ethnicity. Natasha is a part-time model who also enjoys singing, dancing, and can play more than 10 classical, traditional musical instruments. Finalist number 11, we have Kaya 3. Kaya stands at a height of 172 centimeters and is an assistant pharmacist from Kuala Lumpur. She is also a classical dancer and plays the Vina. Her vital statistics are 33, 27, and 37. Here we have contestant number 12, Liliana Fernandez. She's 172 centimeters tall, vital statistics 34, 27, 38. Liliana just completed her diploma in early childhood education. A part-time model with experience, she did her first runway at the tender age of seven years old. Contestant number 13, we have Kirsten Wong. Kirsten stands at a height of 171 centimeters and is an advertising and design student. She loves doing calligraphy and collecting different kinds of paper, materials, and textures. 34, 28, 37 are her vital statistics. Here we have number 14, Jezebel Robert. She stands at 171 centimeters, vital statistics 34, 28, 36. She is of Chinese Indian parentage and is currently studying her degree on mass communications at Help University. A fun fact, she has two pet ducks. Quack, quack. Finalist number 15, Sharaswati. Shara stands at 170 centimeters and is a psychology student. She loves learning new languages and aspires to be none other than a criminologist. Look out, CSI. Her vital statistics are 37, 27, and 39. Here we have contestant number 16, Melissa Wong. She's 169 centimeters. Vital statistics, 32 and a half, 25, 35. Currently pursuing a dual bachelor in medicine and surgery. She is a part-time tutor and hopes to specialize in obstetrics and gynecology. Her hobbies include swimming and singing, but not at the same time. Finalist number 17, we have Maria Devon Escobia. Maria, who is of Visaya descent, is a student, a dancer, and has performed internationally. Her vital statistics are 31 and a half, 27, and 34 and a half. Here's a fun fact. She turns 25 today. Happy birthday, Maria. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for all the finalists in their swimwear sponsored by Zalora. Thank you, ladies. Super sexy bikinis you have on. Aren't they just beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? Let's give them another big round of applause. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Give us another round of applause. The ladies in their swimwear segment. You all look beautiful. Thank you, ladies.
Okay, next up we have another local who is a truly versatile performer. Please help me welcome on stage, Ushera. Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Music, please. Never know how much I love you. I never know how much I care. When you put your arms around me, I get this fever that's so hard to bear. You give me fever. When you kiss me, fever when you hold me tight. Fever in the morning, fever all through the night. Sun lights up the daytime, moon lights up the night. Light up when you call my name And you know I'm gonna treat you right You give me fever When you kiss me Fever when you hold me tight Fever In the morning Fever all through the night Now I know Everybody's got the fever That is something you all know Fever isn't such a new thing. Fever started long ago. Now I've got a story to tell you. Romeo loved Juliet. Juliet, she felt the same. When he put his arms around her, he said, Julie, baby, you're my flame. Thou give us fever. With the kisses, a fever with thy flame in you. Fever, I'm a fire, a fever, yeah, I burn for soon. Captain Smith and Parker Hunters, they had a very mad affair. When a daddy tried to kill him, she said, Daddy, no, don't you dare. It gives me fever. When he kisses me, fever when he holds me tight. Fever. And his missus, so Daddy, won't you treat him right? Now if you've listened to my story, here's the point that I have made. Where chicks were born to give you fever. Beat Fahrenheit or centigrade, we give you fever. Till you kiss them, a fever if you leave, you learn. Fever. Till you sizzle, what a lovely way to burn. What a lovely way to burn. What a lovely way to burn. What a How is everybody doing tonight? I guess very thrilled for the contestant. So in the spirit of hyping up and uh, trying to give like positivity to all the contestants, I would like to dedicate this song to all the girls in the house. And this one is called Golden by Jill Scott. Hey, oh. in my 
house are women. Can I hear women making some noise? Come on, I can see there are more women in this room. Louder, please. All right. Okay, this next song is dedicated to all the women right here and at the back. This one is called I Am Every Woman.
Dedicated to all the ladies. Thank you, Ashera, for that lovely performance. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to slow things right down. Moving on tonight, we get to witness the girls in their stunning evening gowns. These gowns that you see here on stage were personally handpicked by the girls themselves. Here are the 17 finalists in their evening gowns. Contestant number one, we have Jessie Gantel. Describing herself as a person who is committed to the things that she does, she is persistent when it comes to achieving what she has set out to accomplish. Her dream is to travel the world and set up her own modeling agency someday. Contestant number two, Charlotte Tan, combining passion with what she believes is her social responsibility. Charlotte created her own natural skincare brand, Vars, where she shares the profits with homeless welfare programs and women empowerment initiatives. Next, we have Asha Kaur. She dreams of becoming a successful model with her own modeling and beauty academy to groom young talents and aspires to also try her hand at TV hosting.
Here we have contestant number four, Alexis Sue Ann. Alexis hopes to continue hosting and acting and dreams of opening a daycare center for pets someday. She would also like to raise awareness on cyberbullying and start campaigns in schools to educate the younger generation. Next, we have Shannon J. Totten. Shannon hopes to get more involved in art charities in the future and to also open an art studio to hold classes and workshops for the underprivileged. She would like to use the Miss Universe Malaysia platform to highlight the local art industry. Contestant number six, Charmaine Chu. Compassionate by nature, she is an active volunteer to, at soup kitchens, refugee centers, charity homes, hospitals, as well as helping the homeless. She hopes to raise awareness on mental health, a cause that is close to her heart. Contestant number seven, we have Sabrina Tevi. Should she be crowned, she intends to advocate a healthy lifestyle among Malaysians by imparting her knowledge on the importance of living with a positive mindset and being healthy and beautiful both inside and out. Here we are seeing contestant number eight, Jaipreet, an animal lover. Jaipreet aspires to be a successful social entrepreneur and would like to empower other women both socially and economically with initiatives in education and skills workshops, especially in rural areas. Contestant number nine, we have Jane Teo. Jane would like to become a change agent and inspire those around her. She aspires to travel around the world and to get involved in volunteer work, specifically with youths and her peers to address current social issues that they may face. Contestant number 10, Natasha. Having just climbed Mount, Mount Kota Kinabalu weeks before the pageant week, Natasha finds it to be the most rewarding experience she's ever had this far in her life. Number 11, we have Kaya Tree. Kaya believes that success is not easily achievable, but in order to be successful, she believes that one must give their 100% commitment and effort in whatever they do. Here we have contestant number 12, Liliana Fernandez. She is passionate about helping the Orang Asli children in Malaysia and would like to support them by going into their villages to express her passion and teaching them. Contestant number 13, we have Kristen Wong. Her ambition is to become a businesswoman and given the opportunity to help the underprivileged by providing them with access to education, which will help transform their lives for the better.
Contestant number 14, Jasabel Robert. She dreams of starting a non-profit organization in the future to address food wastage in restaurants and homes and develop a solution to help eliminate hunger in this country. Number 15, we have Sharaswati. Sharas would like to use her voice to make a change in society by helping the less fortunate and to also advocate gender equality and create better opportunities. Contestant number 16, Melissa Wong. Besides being a doctor, Melissa intends to start an education center so she can continue her passion in teaching children. Contestant number 17, we have Maria Devon Escobia. In the near future, Maria aspires to become a successful businesswoman and create projects related to performing arts to provide other artists with a creative outlet. And there you have it. Aren't they beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? Our 17 beautiful finalists in their gorgeous evening gowns. Please give them another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, please. Ladies, you look stunning. If you could remain on stage as we move on to the next session, the subsidiary title awards. Our sponsors have graciously selected a finalist, each whom they think deserve to carry their title. So let's see which of these 17 finalists managed to win the hearts of our sponsors. Our first subsidiary award for the night is Miss Zalora Stylestar. The winner will be the face of a Zalora campaign for one whole month. We'd like to invite Judge Kiriat Argenio, Marketing Director of Zalora Malaysia, to come up and present this award to the winner. And the winner taking home the title of Miss Zalora Style Star is Liliana. for a photo opportunity. That is Miss Zalora Style Star, everybody. Another round of applause for Liliana. Thank you, Kyriad. The next award is Miss Auto Bavaria Elegance. Please put your hands together for Jeffrey Gant to present this award. And the award for Miss Auto Bavaria Elegance goes to Charlotte. Sky, cause you're a sky full of stars. 
You're doing a great job there, Jeffrey. Awesome. Thank you, Jeffrey. Our next subsidiary title this evening, Miss Lancome Beautiful. We'd like to invite our next judge, General Manager of L'Oreal Lux Division, Miss Lau Suk Ping, to please come up on stage. And the award for Miss Lancome Beautiful goes to Maria. Beautiful, thank you, Miss Lau. Three titles down and three more to go. Next is Miss Gloja's Glowing Beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for leading doctor and CEO of Gloja Smart International Aesthetics, Dato Dr. Jasvinder Singh, to present this award. And the winner for Miss Gloja's Glowing Beauty is Alexis. It's a tricky job, ladies and gentlemen. Very tricky. Well done. Thank you, Dato. Our next award is the Miss Miko Galera Exceptional Quaffur. And we'd like to invite our judge, Mr. Miko Ao from Miko Galera, to please come up on stage for this award. for the Miss Miko Galera Exceptional Coiffure is Charmaine. Look at that beautiful hair. Thank you, Mr. Miko. So moving on to the last subsidiary award for the night. Please join me in welcoming Managing Director of SMC Dental Works, Dr. Chung Siu Meng, up on stage to present Miss SMC Winning Smile. The finalist taking home the Miss SMC Winning Smile this year is Charlotte. They get there in the end. Thank you, Dr. Chong. 
and a big congratulations to all the subsidiary title winners. A big another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, look how beautiful they look. All right, girls, if you would kindly remain on stage once again, we are about to announce the top 10 finalists who are still in the running to be Miss Universe Malaysia 2018. It has been a long and tough journey for these girls, but I believe, and don't you think, and you'll agree with me, Stephen, that they look poised and absolutely fabulous. Absolutely. I mean, one thing that always, always impresses me is that how do you hold that smile for so long? There is a team of muscles in our cheeks. Trust me, Stephen. It's a separate gym for your smile muscles. Pr pretty much. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, we are one step closer to finding out who will win the crown. Only 10 ladies here of these 17 will be advancing forward. This year, we have a twist in selecting the top 10 still in the running to win the crown. Earlier this evening, you've witnessed in the montage video in which the girls participated in a boot camp during their journey as finalists. For those of you who have caught up with the reality show, the next Miss Universe Malaysia 2018 on Diva, you would have seen the finalists compete in various challenges during the recent boot camp week. At the end of episode six, which was aired this week on Diva Astro 702, Astro Channel 723 in high definition, only six finalists have secured a spot in the top 10. And we are pleased to announce the six finalists who have secured their spots in the top 10. So now, in no particular order. Our first finalist who has guaranteed her spot in the top 10 is Kayatri. Our next finalist who made it to the top 10 is Jane. Our third finalist securing a spot in the top 10 is Liliana. The fourth finalist for the top 10 is Alexis. Now, we only have four more spots left in the top 10. And we have those results in our hands, the results from our judges. So once again, we would like to thank the auditors from UHY for auditing these results. The finalist joining these six girls is... Shannon Jade Totten. And the next girl taking up another spot in the top 10 is... Yes, shout out all your favorites. Jai Preet! We only have two more spots left. I can feel the nerves from the girls right now. Can you, Stephen? Absolutely. All right, the next girl securing one of those last two spots is Jezebel Robert. Ladies and gentlemen, the contestant to take the final spot in the top 10 is Melissa. We have two more finalists making it to the next round, ladies and gentlemen. They are Charmaine. And lastly, Natasha. Look at that, ladies.
ladies and gentlemen, that is your top 10 finalists. Congratulations and give it up for all these beautiful ladies. Thank you, ladies. It has been a great journey for each and every one of them. And here, the top 10 will, con will continue to compete for the title of Miss Universe Malaysia 2018. It's about to get more intense. I can already feel the tension in the room. Do we have a favorite emerging, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, after three, just shout out your favorite and let's see if we can hear one name that stands out. One, two, three. Once again, one, two, three. Okay, I'm hearing a couple of names there. <laughs> All right. So it's about to get more intense as we just, we're a short time away from revealing our winner. So first, let's pick their brains a little bit. Let's pick the, the brains of these 10 finalists and see what they're made of. Now, when we call your name, please come forward and join us at the center of the stage. You have to pick an envelope from this tray, as you can see, and each will hold a question. Your pick will determine the question that you get. Now, each finalist will be given only 40 seconds to answer their question. After 30 seconds, they will hear this sound. And again, at the 40 second mark. This is so nerve wracking, I know, ladies, but trust me, you will do your best. Uh, I think so. All right, Stephen, do you want to start us off? So, if we could first have Charmaine. Okay, Charmaine. We are a generation that communicates primarily through social media. How do you feel social media changes the way we view each other? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I think that social media is a great platform for us to showcase our best lifestyle and the best version of ourselves, and that can help us to motivate and inspire the people around us. That is why if we use social media smartly and wisely and make sure that we don't post anything that will harm others, social media has a positive impact on the way we view each other. Thank you. Thank you, Charmaine. All right, next up we have Alexis. Please join me downstage. Alexis, ladies and gentlemen. Alexis, beauty pageants have changed over the years. What's your opinion about their role in to work today's world? Are they relevant? First off, thank you very much for your question, Kim. Salam sejahtera semua. Well, yes, I do think that beauty pageants are relevant and that is why I'm here today because I think that beauty pageants have evolved over the past recent years and it's not perceived as a platform for others to, you know, just look at girls to be perfect, but it's now a platform where we can celebrate our abilities and, and our advantages, and also we can also uh, celebrate and embrace our flaws as gifts for being uniquely us. That to me is that. Thank you. Well answered, Alexis. Thank you very much. I'll swap you this microphone for this. Here go. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, our next up is Kaya. Okay, this is a good one. Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, has given millions back to communities around the world through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. If you had all the money in the world, what is the first thing you would do? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the question. If I had all the money, 
I would uh, pay back the debts to uh, World Bank so that um, our so that our our community, not only our community, but uh, uh, the world that is uh, actually having the crisis of uh, money, where we can have a luxurious life and everyone can live peaceful. And besides that, uh, I believe that uh, it can create harmony to the world and also for everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Kaya. Next girl we'll bring up is Jane. Jane, if there was one person you could bring back to life, who would it be and why? Good evening, everyone. If there is one person I could bring back to life, it would be my grandmother because I've never really gotten the chance to know her. And if I were to bring her back, I could feel the love and chemistry and also interaction between us. Thank you. Thanks, Jane. Okay, next up, we have Liliana. So Liliana, recently incidents of body shaming have become more commonplace on social media. How important is body image to you and how would you help someone who has been shamed in this way? Thank you for the question, Stephen. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good night. <laughs> well, body image is a very important thing to me. In the past, I have allowed myself to be a slave to my insecurities and I have allowed myself to have a negative perception of my body. And joining this pageant, it has really improved my thoughts on my body. And in order to help others who have experienced body shaming, I would like to tell you that it's not what matters on the outside, it's, what on the, it's what's on the inside that matters. If you are beautiful on the inside, you will shine out, your light will shine out, and you will spread that love to everyone. Thank you. Very well answered, Liliana, thank you. Great answer. Next up, we have Natasha. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Stephen will be ringing, reading the English version of the question, and then I will translate in Bahasa. Natasha will answer in Bahasa. So the question is, Natasha, what is the most important women's issue currently? Nyatakan apakah isu utama wanita di masa kini? Terima kasih pengacara majlis. Satu salam yang cukup menarik sekali. Tuan-tuan dan puan-puan sekalian, Isu utama wanita pada masa kini setelah sudah dipandang kepada kaum lelaki kerana Tuhan menciptakan manusia begitu sempurna sekali, begitu juga dengan wanita. Jadi wanita punya kerja di sini bukan saja dia boleh buat kerja lelaki juga kan, bukan perempuan saja, betul atau tidak. Jadi bagi saya wanita juga boleh membangun pembangunan negara. Sekian saya terima kasih. Terima kasih Natasha. Terima kasih. Next up is Shannon. Okay, Shannon. What charity is closest to your heart and why? The charity that is... Thank you for the question. The charity that is closest to my heart is one that I recently worked with last year. I helped raise funds with the Wheelchair Tennis Malaysia Association so that their para-athletes can uh, go to Tokyo to 2020 uh, for the Olympics. And we help raise funds by using what I'm good at, which is art, and we help create designs and we sold uh, the bags to help funds for them. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon, thank you. 
Next, next up we have Jaipreet. Jaipreet, how would you react if you were a victim of sexual harassment? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If I were a victim of sexual harassment, like many other women who have been victims, I would tell myself, this is not my fault, and neither is it the fault of any victim. We should stop victim blaming when it comes to sexual harassment. It is the culture that perpetuates this behavior towards women. We need to start respecting women as human beings, not just as someone's mother, as someone's sister, as someone's daughter, but as human beings. Thank you. Thank you, Jaipreet. Thank you, Jaipreet. Next up, we have Jezebel. Don't worry, I got it, I got it. Jezebel. If you were in charge of a school where bullying is commonplace, how would you tackle this problem and stop bullying from happening? Thank you for the question. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If I were in charge for a school and bullying is happening, I know that bullying is not just a surface problem. I wouldn't punish the kid or anything like that but I would actually understand them because kids that usually bully, it's kids that want attention. I would most probably set up a club or something to meet up with their parents and solve it in that way instead of using a harsh punishment. And I think that you, there's no need to put another person down to make yourself feel taller. That's what I feel about bullying. Thank you. Very nice, Jezebel. Next up, we have Melissa. Melissa, refugees, terrorism, the threat of nuclear war are some of the world's current issues. What do you think is the most important world issue currently? Thank you, Kim. Good evening, everyone. Hello, judges. So the most important world issue currently would be about the Rohingya refugees. The Rohingyas are stateless and they are, they are not accepted in their country. And every day in their mind, they are actually figuring out how to get their basic essentials and they are always living in fear. To me, that is the most, um, the world issue that is currently important to me. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. Please give me another round of applause for our top 10 finalists, everybody. And thank you, ladies. Well, there you have it. While the scores are being tabulated, we will take another short break. Don't forget to upload your best OOTD picture and hashtag, hashtag MUM18 Gala Night OOTD for a chance to win a thousand ringgits Allura voucher and a 12,000 ringgits Sarah's jewelry. We'll be right back. So don't go break. anywhere. Hi everyone, we're actually backstage right now where all the chaos is happening. As you can see behind me, all of the girls are actually getting touched up thanks to our sponsors, Miko Geller and L'Oreal Professional Magic Spray, Special Touch, amazing, and the quintessential hair for every beauty queen. Of course, I have one of the top 10 finalists with me right now. I have Charmaine. How are you feeling, Charmaine? I'm feeling really overwhelmed, happy, excited, and of course, nervous. Okay, I'm pretty sure nerves are normal, but no, but nerves are also good, okay? So, you know, during your journey, I'm pretty sure you had to make a ton of sacrifices. What are some of the sacrifices you had to make? The biggest sacrifices that I've ever had to make was to give up my scholarship just to be on this Miss Universe Malaysia stage. That is one of my biggest sacrifices. Wow, what was the scholarship for? Were you going anywhere? Was it a full scholarship? 
Well, it was actually a scholarship from uh, UWE, and uh, I had to go to UK to study, but I knew for a fact that being here today is my purpose in life, and that is why I gave it all up, and no regrets. I'm really happy to be here. Wow, beauty with brains. Congratulations, Charmaine, for making it so far. I wish you the best of luck, and may you proceed to the top four, okay? Thank you so much. All right, we actually have more contestants over here. Hmm, okay, Shannon. Hi. Hi, congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be part of the top 10. I can't believe it. Well, congratulations. You know, that was a really tough Q&A session. They asked some really hard-hitting questions. How do you think you did? I think I did relatively well. I chose an answer that was closest to my heart, just like the question had. And I'm quite proud of what I achieved last year when I was part of the charity. And I'm so glad I get to showcase what I've done with the community with that question as well. All right, that sounds amazing. And I'm pretty sure your charity work has been really going so well. Well, I actually wanted to say I met your family outside just now. So how about a quick shout out to them? Hi, my, my fans, my family, everyone. I'm so excited you're all here. Thank you for showing up. I can't wait to show you what I've got if I'm in the top four, so fingers crossed. All right, congratulations once again, Shannon. Prepare yourself, okay? All right, let's move on to our next girl. Hi, Jay. How are you feeling right now? I feel very, very excited because it has been my dream to stand on the stage and I'm really glad that I've advanced, advanced to so, so far. Alright, and really, speaking from the heart, good, good job. You did amazing tonight so far. Um, I want to know, how has your journey been like to the crown? It's been really tough, but seeing me going really strong, I believe that I am a step nearer to the crown. And a step nearer you are. Hopefully you advance to the top four. And you know, a little birdie told me that you actually have experienced being Miss Malaysia before in a different pageant. So I wanted to ask, does that you know, experience actually gives you an edge? Definitely, because the crowd is the same and I'm not as nervous as, as I were. All right, and I can tell you're not that nervous either. All right, I'm pretty sure all of the girls have been doing an amazing job and we hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the search for the next Miss Universe Malaysia 2018. The night continues as we are about to reveal the top four shortlisted finalists. But before that, we have a talented 13-year-old who also recently won the Her TV Bakat Awesome Malaysia. She may only be 13 years old, but this young lady from Pataling Jaya is a little dynamite who set the stage ablaze with Her TV's recent online talent show, Bakat Awesome Malaysia. She managed to beat seven other contestants to take home the grand prize of 100,000 ringgit as well as a brand new Proton Saga. I didn't realize you could drive at 13. Singing since she was the age of two, she is unstoppable, winning multiple singing competitions and talent shows. We are delighted to welcome her TV's star talent tonight in her debut performance since her win. Please put your hands together to welcome singer Aikish Aliyah. She's was the girl and she's on fire Harder than a fantasy Long like a highway She's living in a world and he's on fire Feeling the catastrophe But she knows she can fly away oh.
to come when she's on fire. Thank you. Wow, what a voice. Akeisha, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, Kim, they just seem to be getting younger and younger, don't they? Absolutely. Can you imagine that she was only 13? So much talent. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's move on. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived for us to reveal the top four finalists who will still be running for the title of Miss Universe Malaysia 2018. Now, who do you think is going to win? Come on, shout out some names. Let's do the same thing. One, two, three. Yeah. Sorry, who? Okay. Well, let's find out. The judges have decided, and Stephen has in his hands the names of our top four contestants. Are you ready? Are you ready, Stephen? I'm ready. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's find out. All right. We can't pull a Stephen Harvey, all right? Stephen Raman Hughes. Channel <laughs> Stephen Raman Hughes. Okay. Absolutely. In no particular order, our first finalist, who is in the top four, is... Liliana! Well done, Liliana. So for the second spot, for the top four, goes to... Jezebel. We only have two spots remaining. The next finalist making it into the top four is... Alexis! A popular one. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, one spot left. One spot left in the top four. Let me hear you. Shout out who do you think it should be? We cannot hear you out there. Who should it be? Let's find out. And our final top spot in the top four goes to... Jane! Congratulations to our top four finalists. Please give them a big round of applause. The competition is getting more intense as we prepare for the next segment. Can I have the question, please? We're just going to get the question and then we're going to heat things right up, aren't we, Stephen? All right, so for this segment, the ladies will be mic'd up. Indeed. Woo! We're getting there, we're getting there. The time has come where each of these four girls will answer one question. The same question for all four girls. So, to be fair, the girls will be wearing headphones with music playing as to not to hear the question being asked to the other girls. Once again, each finalist will be given 40 seconds to answer their question. After 30 seconds, they will hear this sound. And then again, after 10 more seconds to make the 40 second mark. What do you reckon they're so listening So how are we to? doing? Ladies, can you hear me? I don't do think you think they can. they can hear me? 
Which other girl would you eliminate if you could right now? No, they can't hear me. <laughs> what do you reckon they're listening to? I think Beyonce. You reckon so, some female empowerment? Yeah, get in the zone. I kind of heard that Mozart gets you into the zone. Yeah, that's very, very true. I think for me it would be like Bruno Mars, like Uptown Funk, like the guys were dancing to. Mine might be like some Michael Jackson, you know? Woo, get me the in moonwalk the, get there. Get me in the mood. All right. All right, let's get to okay, it. Okay, gentlemen. Let's begin with finalist number one. Finalist number one, we have Liliana. Liliana, the question is, should you win tonight, how would you like to be remembered at the end of your reign? What legacy would you like to leave behind? Thank you again for the question, Stephen. Hello again, everyone. If I should win the crown tonight, I would want to be remembered as someone who accepts myself, someone who has the confidence, someone who accepts my own body. And I believe that I want to inspire young women out there to do the same, to bring the best potential out of themselves. And I believe that I want to be remembered as someone who is very approachable, friendly, and just being able to be genuine to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Liliana. Thank you. All right, next up, let's have finalist number two, Jezebel. So, Jezebel, should you win tonight, how would you like to be remembered at the end of your reign? What legacy would you like to leave behind? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the question. If I were to win Miss Malaysia Universe 2018, I want to be the Miss Universe Malaysia that get placed in the Miss Universe at, since 1970. I want to make Malaysia proud. I think the organization Malaysia have put in enough hard work to get recognized internationally. And I want to be the Miss Universe that get placed internationally. Thank you. Thank you, Jezebel. All right, next up we have Alexis. Hi, Alexis. How are you doing? Okay, the question. Should you win tonight, how would you like to be remembered? At the end of your reign, what legacy would you like to leave behind? I think I would like people to remember me by three words. Brave, humble, and definitely real. Brave because in whatever challenges that I do, I do my best and I would definitely do my best to make Malaysia proud. Humble because I always remember my roots and I know where I started and I know what I do to get this far. And of course, most importantly, to be real because I want to inspire others that you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be yourself and that itself you will shine. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, last but not least, we have Jane. Hello, Jane. How are you doing? I'm going to ask you the question. So, Jane, should you win tonight, how would you like to be remembered? At the end of your reign, what legacy would you like to leave behind? Good evening, everyone. If I were to win tonight, I would want to be remembered as a woman of transformation, and I would be remembered as someone who is loving, friendly, and relatable. The legacy I would want to leave behind would be my philanthropic work and also my contribution to eradicate social issues. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the answers by our elegant finalists. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. So one of these girls will soon be crowned as Miss Universe 
Malaysia 2018. Which one do you think it will be, ladies and gentlemen? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, we're going on another short break while the auditors, UHY, tabulate the results. Stay tuned. We are only moments away from revealing the next Miss Universe Malaysia 2018. Be back after this. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, so you know what? The top four Q&A session has been done with. We are this close to finding out who the next Miss Universe Malaysia 2018 is. And of course, I'm with three of the judges who have already made their decisions. I have Levi, Nora Lisa, and also Dato Hans. So Levi, what makes a girl stand out? Well, I think every girl out there is beautiful and unique in their own way. But for tonight, definitely the one that stands out is the one that is confident and answers well in front of so many people. And that is the key, the aura that they shine. All right, I'm pretty sure everybody's taking note of that. Nora Lisa, I know you are the National Director of the Miss Universe Singapore Organization. Yes, I am. All right, um, any advice for the new queen to be? Well, I think after she wins tonight, she should have a cheeseburger. <laughs> but aside from that, thank everyone who's helped you along the way. Take a break, but thereafter, be prepared to work very hard and to listen to everyone who's got things to teach you, your mentors, your teachers, and embrace the moment. You're going to be on a very long but very rewarding journey and the hopes of your nation will be riding on you. It's very, very special. Enjoy it. Thank you, Nora Lisa. That was some amazing advice. Very, very good advice. Now, Zato Hans, you know, you're no stranger in the Malaysian scene, and I'm pretty sure you're no stranger when it comes to being a judge of Miss Universe Malaysia. You've helped choose many beauty queens of the past. So generally, how do you choose a girl? Um, basically, every year it's very different. The set of girls that come in are totally different. Um, obviously, you'll see the one or two that stand out among the rest. But sometimes, uh, most of the audience don't realize this, that probably a certain percentage of the judging is preliminaries. And even if they've done well tonight, uh, in the preliminaries, they, they kind of didn't do that well, it would jeopardize their chances tonight. So there were some scores that were, we, I think I personally scored high, but even the girl didn't make it to the final 10. Um, so if you've had a bad run in the pre preliminary rounds, and you shine tonight, it jeopardizes your score another day. So obviously the, the four girls that have made it to the finals or the 10, uh, to the, the 10 and then to the four, they've literally been consistent through the pageant all the way through. And that's the girl you want to find. You want to find the girl that's going to be consistent all the way through the pageant till she represents Malaysia to the grand finals. Um, I don't know where it is this year, but yeah, until she gets there and represents her country. Wow, okay. We'll just have to see. Do you think your, your favorite is winning? Um, they're all four of my favorites. <laughs> that's, the, that's the nice way to put it. All four of my favorites because they've done really well to get there. You know, it's not not easy in front of an audience like this. Um, we, we're judging them from head to toe. You know, literally watching them, every move, every smile. You know, um, it, it it has to be consistent. And again, I need to uh, just mention that the girl has to be disciplined enough to progress through all the months that's coming towards her because she will be an icon, she will be someone that Malaysia will look up to, she'll be representing the flag as we mentioned early on, you know what I mean? Discipline is everything and if she didn't have the discipline, I'll dump her and get another girl. <laughs> Alright judges, I'm pretty sure you've done an amazing job, you've made an extremely difficult choice and I guess like what they always say, it's destiny. So let's find out who our next Miss Universe Malaysia 2018 will be. Welcome back to Miss Universe Malaysia 2018. Brought to you by Zalora, Asia's leading online fashion destination with main partner, Auto Bavaria, and partner, Ceres Jewels. We are here at the majestic hotel Kuala Lumpur, and we are minutes away to announcing your new Miss Universe Malaysia 2018. Now, before we continue with the show tonight, we have the winner of that hashtag Outfit of the Day online contest. 
So one fashionista will be taking home that 1,000 ringgit Zalora voucher as well as that 12,000 ringgit Ceres Jewels ring. I wanted it to be me. That's all right. Let's invite, please, Miss Universe Malaysia 2015, Vanessa Tevi, to please come up on stage to present the prize to the winner. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Miss Universe Malaysia 2018 Gala Night Outfit of the Day contest is Renee Tan. Look at that beautiful dress. Wow, wow, wow. What Stunning. a picture. Look at that scene. Oh, look at that. Amazing. How beautiful. Thank you, Vanessa. And please give a round of applause for our winner. Beautiful, Renee. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to one of the highlights of the evening. You are gonna love this. Born and raised in Kedah and Selangor, our special performer began writing songs at the age of 14. She soon taught herself to play the guitar, and by 2006, in need of creative outlet while attending law school, performed for an audience for the very first time. This young lady is pursuing her dream and is currently residing in the US. Having sang alongside Usher, Owl City, Gene Ico, and many more famous artists, ladies and gentlemen, you know who I'm talking about. It is my pleasure to present to you, Yuna! Give it up for Yuna! sleep at night The conversation that we had Something just feels right I know we've known each other a long time I've never seen you in this light I can see the future in your
so much everybody how's everybody doing tonight good <laughs> thank you so much for having me um, performing for all of you tonight obviously if I were to compete in this competition I wouldn't win I almost tripped so <laughs> next song everyone I hope you guys will enjoy this next song it's called true kid bintang She 
This is my 
Thank you, everybody. This will be my last song for tonight. I just want to say again, thank you so much, everyone, for having me. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? And good luck to all the contestants. You guys did very well. And Godspeed. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Yuna, for that amazing performance. Yuna, know, that was amazing. Please give her another stunning. round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Wasn't that stunning? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Before we continue, we are just going to take this opportunity to thank all of our sponsors who made tonight possible. The Miss Universe Malaysia 2018 this year is again 
as we all know, brought to you by Zalora, Asia's leading online fashion destination. We saw our lovely ladies in their cocktail dresses during the introduction round. We have main partners, Otto Bavaria, official partners, Sarah's Jewels, I'm wearing, as well as all our lovely ladies were wearing in their evening gown round. We have Glojas Health Clinic by Smart International Aesthetic, Lancome, L'Oreal Professional, as well as Miko Galere. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, Bubblegum Wax, La Juiceria, Pavilion Kuala Lumpur, SMC, SMC Dental Works, Inno White, Runaway Productions by Catwalk Guru, Benjamin Tung, Red Bus, Vitology, Help University, UHI, and of course, the majestic Hotel Kuala Lumpur. Now, we can't forget our official newspaper, The Star. Official TV channel diva on Astro Channel 702 or 723 in high definition, as well as our official online TV channel, Her TV. So please, everyone, join together. And let's have a huge, huge round of applause for all those people that have helped put this together. And w without them, this would not be possible. Absolutely. Now, for the moment, the moment we've all been waiting for. Can we please have all our 17 finalists back on the stage? Yes, please give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. I watch from a distant 17. Sure, the others dreams of being golden and on top. It's not just painting in my head. There's so much there instead of all the colors that I saw. Are Look we at all those beautiful gowns. Amazing. Also allow me to also to present to you this year's crown sponsored by Sarah's Jewels. This year, once again, renowned jewelry maker Ceres Jewels will do the honors in presenting the winner with a magnificent crown estimated to be worth four million ringgit. Weighing 300 grams and made with 18 karat white gold, it has 32 carats aquamarine set in the center of the crown, complemented by 2,507 pieces of diamonds totaling 185 carats. To complete the masterpiece, three remarkable heritage cut diamonds, each at 14 carats, five carats, and four carats are set from the center top of the crown. That's a lot of carats. Yeah, we are very lucky that Bugs Bunny is not here tonight. What a beautiful crown. I cannot wait to see which one of these top four ladies will be wearing it. All right, should we get to it? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the results are in. We would like to thank our auditors once again from UHY in ensuring there are no disputes while the judges tabulated the scores for tonight's winner. Before that, please help me in welcoming Miss Universe Malaysia 2016, Kiran Jassal, up on stage to present the award to our winner. Okay. Our third runner up will win cash prize of 2,000 ringgit from Miss Universe Malaysia organization and prizes worth 10,000 ringgit from Zalora Lancome 
Bubblegum Wax, Glogus Health Clinic by Smart International Aesthetics, Phytology, Miko Galere, and L'Oreal Professional. The third runner-up is... Jezebel. Your third runner-up, ladies and gentlemen. All right, our second runner-up will win a cash prize of 4,000 ringgit and prizes with a total value of 10,000 ringgit from Zalora, Lancome, Bubblegum Wax, Glojas Health Clinic by Smart International Aesthetics, Phytology, Miko Galere, and L'Oreal Professional. Our second runner-up is... Liliana! Our beautiful second runner-up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And so, and so there were two. But before we announce the first runner-up and crown the winner of Miss Universe Malaysia 2018, we want to take this opportunity to bid farewell to the reigning Miss Universe Malaysia as the last official act of her reign. Let us welcome on stage to take her final walk, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Universe Malaysia 2017, give it up for Samantha Katie James. <laughs> It has been an extremely fulfilling one year as your Miss Universe Malaysia. I would like to thank my family, my best friends, my mentor, Datin Elaine Daly, and the entire Miss Universe Malaysia organization for standing behind me and giving me all the support, guidance, and encouragement that I needed in my journey. To all the sponsors and trainers, Thank you for your kindness and for having faith in me. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And to my amazing fans, thank you for all the love. To my successor, may you find this journey as fruitful and as unforgettable as I did. Samantha Katie James, Malaysia! So. I wish you a wonderful year ahead as you fly the Malaysian flag with great pride. Thank you once again to each and every one of you signing off with much love. I am Samantha Katie James. Samantha Katie James, everybody, another round of applause. Doesn't she look stunning? We are down to our two finalists. Who is going to take back the beautiful crown from Sarah's Jewels? Who will it be? We can't hear you, who is it? Ladies, if you'd like to step forward and face each other. The first runner-up will bring home prizes worth 8,000 ringgit and products worth 20,000 ringgit. Whereas the winner this evening will win a cash prize of 50,000 ringgit from Miss Universe Malaysia organization. Products and services worth over 150,000 ringgit combined from Zalora, Lancome, L'Oreal Professional, Bubblegum Wax, Glorious Health 
Clinic by Smart International Aesthetics, Phytology, Ceres, Miko Galer, a Hollywood smile worth 50,000 ringgit, courtesy of SMC Dental Works and Inner White. And thanks to Help University, a full education scholarship of choice. In the case where the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will represent the winner. So who do you think it will be, ladies and gentlemen? Will it be Alexis? Or will it be Jane? Ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, one more time, who do you think it should be? You're about to find out. Your new Miss Universe Malaysia 2018 is... Universe Malaysia 2018. And there, Samantha crowning Jane as the new queen. And I'm sure she is going to make us all very proud. Once again, Jane, ladies and gentlemen. And here she is making her first walk as Miss Universe Malaysia. Congratulations, Jane. gentlemen, Jane Teo from Penang, Miss Universe Malaysia 2018. So we'd like to thank the judges, official partners, Zalora, Autobabia, Sarah's Jewels, Glorious Health Clinic, Lancome, Miko Galari. L'Oreal Professional, Pavilion, Kuala Lumpur, Health University, La Juicy Area, La Juicy Area, Superfoods, Phytology, Glojas, Bubblegum Wax, Inno White, SMC Dental Works, Runaway Production, Red Bus, UHY. Our host venue tonight, the beautiful Majestic Hotel Kuala Lumpur. Official media, the star. Official online channel, Her TV. Official TV channel, Diva. And don't forget to catch the rerun of tonight's gala on Diva, Astro Channel, 702-723-HD on 29th of January, 2018. Members of the media, you may proceed to the Majestic 12 on the fourth floor for a press conference with the winners. Thank you everyone for making this night oh so special. I am Stephen Rowan Hughes. And I'm Kimberly Leggett, signing off. So have a good night. See you later and see you next year, everyone. This is just a gentle reminder for everybody. For you who have drove to Majestic Hotel tonight, you may purchase your parking tickets at any of the car park floors, B1, B2, and B3. We hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Good night, everybody.